Cute Butler and I am Emmanuel Butler and we are EQ. EQ. You from? Okay. <laughs> Where you were from? It doesn't define who you are. It doesn't define who you be. Your destiny lies in the hands of God. Uh, well, what first got me into the music is my father is a preacher, and I grew up listening to all the great uh, John P. Keys, just all the gospel, and I, he was very charismatic, and he sings as well. He's from Detroit, and uh, so yeah, that, those are the kind of things that got me into singing. First of all, how about you? Same here. My father was a singer. I was inspired by his gift. Been singing all my life, you know, in and out of music groups growing up. Shout out to Creative Impressions. Um, so yeah, we've just been singing all our life. Who inspired me to make music? You want me to go first? I'm inspired by everything. I think my, pers my purpose <laughs> is to entertain people and my gift is to sing. So hey, I live in my creativity. I sing all the time. I'm inspired through everything. I write music about everything. Um, and again, my father, he inspired me to sing from the very beginning. And, you know, the same with me. Um, I can go down the list with a lot of celebrities, but... Uh, you I cannot shout out the whole church. I know, show. I know, I know. But I'm, but if we're talking about locally, who got me in this the music is a guy named Michael Miner. Uh, I went to his house one day, and he got, got me very interested into the recording process. And appreciate you, Mike. And he brought us together. He brought us together. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? <laughs> so, a great inspiration. Shout out to Backwood Hemp, Hemp Society. Society. And you can find us on YouTube, EQ and the Crew, E-Q-U-E and the Crew. You can find us on Facebook as Q Butler. And Emmanuel Butler. Or EQ and the Crew. And you can also find us on yep, yep. Instagram, we underscore R underscore EQ. <laughs> it's elevated deepness right here. Listen, y'all in my city, Augusta. Let's see what's going on. I am Angel Brown from the CSRA area and for those who don't know what CSRA is, it's basically Augusta, Georgia and Aiken, South Carolina, kind of meshed together. I have been an artist for over 10 years. I sing locally with a band. I write for others and I'm a low-key poet. Don't tell anybody that, but um, and a creative overall. Uh, what first got me into music, I would say, would be my mom, because um, she had tons and tons of 45s. It was not rare to hear Luther Vandross around the house, Earth, Wind, and Fire. So, because we're not really a music family, I'm the one that took that music creative side of everybody else's art and poetry. Who inspired me to make music? I would really say... I would just say watching artists that I saw growing up inspire me. The music I typically create, I would call, this is going to sound funny, I just call it a vibe because it really just depends on what mood I'm in or what story I want to tell. I do not want to be ever placed in a box. It's not pop, it's not R&B, it's not neo-soul. 
it's a vibe. Because one day I may be mad at somebody and I'm just going to vent that off of me. So, yeah. I'm just going to call music, my music a vibe. My personal creative process <laughs> is odd. I commute all the time. So my creative process actually starts in my car. <laughs> Riding down the road, listening to the radio, I'm like, oh. Okay, I can make a song out of that. And if I have a track, I will literally sit in my car for eight hours and I will write a song until it's finished and then get out of my car. Well, I'll park in a safe spot. <laughs> Definitely do that. <laughs> Crazy times. That's my creative process. My, creative, my crea creativity comes in random places. Number one place is my car. Hey, I'm Angel Brown. I am a singer-songwriter in the Georgia Carolina area. You can find me on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, you name it, I am there. Um, and just a quick little sample of something that I have. It's a little old to me, but it's new to you. I'm lying here all alone. I got your favorite t-shirt and some black lace panties on. Wishing you were here next to me, baby. In between the sheets. Kissing and rubbing on my body, yeah. That's <laughs> Most elevated deepness, um, my mama called me Vanessa, <laughs> nice. but poetically I do go by the name of most elevated deepness. I am a spoken word poet out of Augusta, Georgia, Mississippi born, Georgia raised. This is, this is my city, this is where I'm from. So I went away to the military, the military brought me back here and, and I've been here ever since. So uh, I love my city and uh, I love to do what I do and that is poetry here in our great city of Augusta. What first got me into music? Okay, so like I said, I'm a poet. And uh, when you think poetry, you're like, oh, music? There's, there's music involved? I'm actually known for my uh, uh, song-infused style of spoken word. Um, so, I mean, music and me go way back, you know. Um, it's so funny, um, growing up, uh, we were definitely very, we was churchy. We was churchy black people. And uh, so riding in the car and stuff with my, my um, well, at home, we listened to a lot of gospel. But on those long road trips, um, me and my dad would take sometimes. Uh, he let the, the old school R&B play. And uh, so I was hearing those things for the first time and I fell in love um, with, uh, with old school and, and just R&B. And uh, that kind of originated my love for music. I always loved to sing. Uh, but uh, probably towards the tail end of my high school career, I, um, I fell in love with um, poetry and spoken word and just expressing myself. I was an introvert, so my journal was my best friend. So I guess uh, it, uh, when I hit a young adulthood, uh, I just fused both of them, my love for music and my appreciation for soul music. And then my love of words just came together. And uh, so that's what I'm known for now is my poetry and song and infused style of spoken word. So, yeah. Who inspired me to make music? Okay, so I would say not more so of a who, but what inspires me to do music um, life does. Um, so it's a combination of circumstances and people. Um, I call myself the testimonial poet <laughs> because it's like I go through things in life and it ends up in my poetry. So, you know, don't feed the poet unless you're going to feed her something good. Because <laughs> you feed her something bad, you might hear about it in a poem. <laughs> but um, life, life definitely inspires um, my writing and my music. Um, so, yeah, as um, long as I keep living, I'm going to have something to write about. I'm going to have something to sing about. Um, life is definitely my inspiration. Listen, real talk, we try to think about different people, uh, you know, people that are doing things on like a huge scale. Um, I have some, real talk, some hometown inspirations. A lot of the people that's going to be here tonight are truly people that inspire me. Um, sometimes I watch award shows or I watch different things and I get excited and I get hyped and I get happy because these people have reached a certain point in their career that they can be proud of and, you know, they can leave a legacy for their children and it's beautiful. But... What I really get hype about 
it's my people in my hometown. You got your Angel Browns, your Trey McLaughlin's, your, I mean, your Fruitioners. You got your uh, Ansley Joys. These are all people here in Augusta that are doing amazing things that are ridiculously talented in doing what they, they do. And, I mean, I really draw my inspiration from there. There's a couple I know, um, Emmanuel and Q Butler. They go by EQ and the crew and they are just like ridiculously dope these are the people that i draw from these are the people when i watch award shows i'll be like man they ain't got nothing on my friends you know so um so yeah I, i'm draw i draw my energy and i draw my inspiration real talk from my family from my musical family here in augusta jordan yeah um again my name is vanessa harris poetically known as most elevated deepness and uh i never prided myself in being the wittiest or the prettiest but but this right here baby this right here, baby, I work hard for this. Boy scars for this. Serve my country proudly. Purple heart war scars for this. Who we are in this room are warriors. Won't be none after. Wasn't none before us. See, cause we, we are cut from a different cloth. Keep your cotton. See, we, we are the fabric of each other's lives. I need you to survive and I refuse to let this dream die. My son will never look at me and say, mommy didn't try and I believe. I believe that the ancestors are looking down from the skies and to them, well, to them it's no surprise. It's, it's no surprise that it's a sign of the time how my words create rhymes. No longer miscellaneous chimes, more in the line of divine because I've died and I've been resurrected. See, I sat back, been criticized and corrected. Now I pray, I pray that my words will reach your hearts and minds and be well respected. Don't neglect this. Catch me in these streets. <laughs> Catch me out here in these streets, y'all. <laughs>